last summer. My fiancé's son planned a camping trip for me and all our friends. Things started out fun enough. We cooked food, relaxed, and told ghost stories. But then it started to get weird. I found a note and everyone started fighting. My friends all split up and I was left alone. I went to find them, hoping to fix things. Instead, I found a train. Turns out, it was so much more. The train took my friends, one by one. I had to watch them all die, until only me and Sen were left. The train had so many secrets. Somehow, I found myself untethered from time. When I traveled to the past, I met a little girl named Ayumi. She said she could help me. That was a lie. She was the one responsible for all of this. She killed my friends. She trapped me here. She stole Sen's mind and turned him against me. I never felt so alone. Or so scared in my life. But I defeated her. And now that we're free, it's time to start picking up the pieces of our lives. I don't know how we'll ever move past this. But what I do know is that I still have more questions than answers. Wait, Saki. Let's go, Sen! We don't have time! Why are you in such a hurry? What do you mean? This place is a waking nightmare! It took our friends, and it tried to take us too! We have to get out of here! I, I need to tell you something. Ayumi told me that we can be reunited. Yuta, Kane, Kazuki, she said they're all waiting for us. That we can all be together. Forever. That's... creepy. No, it's not. It's romantic. Don't you want to be together forever? Right now, I just want to focus on finding the nearest exit. We can do it forever later. You're not listening to me, Saki! No, I'm not! Because we need to go, Sen! Damn it! It's not working! Wait. I think I see something here. Saki, please. I know how we can get out of here. I bet we can pry that door open if we find something sturdy enough. Saki! Shut up and listen to me! I'm staying here, and you're staying with me! I don't like the way you're talking, Sen. This is exactly why we need to leave. This place... It's bad for us. Now, I'm going to find something to pry that door. With or without you. Saki... Janitor's locker. Not that thing again! Sen, we have to hide somewhere! Sen, come on! I already told you, Saki. We're not leaving. It's time to greet our host. Host? What the hell are you talking about?
long. I got to keep moving. Osama Shrine. What other secrets can you tell me? This window shows only darkness beyond. There's something stuck in the drain. Try as a bone, just like all the other toilets in this place. scenario, I guess I could use it as a weapon. This should be exactly what I need to get out of here.
some help. Wow, it's really raining outside. What are you doing? I'm opening this door and I'm getting out of here. Are you coming with me? That's not our destiny. We're destined to be together. I'll take that as a no. Saki, can I have my pendant back? What? Can I have it, please? Why are you asking for that now? We have far more important things to worry about, Sen! Saki, give it to me! Saki. You're still not listening. Exactly! I'm not listening to Ayumi's lies! You're wrong, Saki! Ayumi would never lie to me! She loves me. You're not making sense! None of this makes any sense! I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Just give me the pendant first. Sen! She's still here, Saki. She's still with us. In us. Don't! Too dangerous. No, I can't go that way. I sure hope.
can't believe I made it. That was horrible. I'll never go back. All we wanted to do was go camping. Now everyone is gone. I have to keep moving. I have to get out of here. Those rocks are too tall. I'll never be able to climb them. house. I didn't think anyone lived in this area. Hello? Is there anybody home? Oh, it's unlocked. here. Look at all these things. It's like someone just abandoned this place. I don't think I'll run into anyone here. Though I better be quiet, just to be safe. The lock on this chest looks old, but it's still pretty strong. I really don't like this. Something is under that sheet. What on earth happened here? I never want to see this again. This book is heavier than it looks. I wonder what it opens. The lock on this chest looks old, but it's still pretty strong. I really hope there aren't any more surprises behind this door. I don't know if my heart can take it. been nailed shut. Why would anyone do that? What is this place? Let's see what's in here. A small hammer. This could come in handy. an interesting lockbox. These look like entries from a journal. starting to get a clear picture. When in doubt, use brute force. There's 
something written there, but I can't read it. I can see a million of me in that broken mirror. This window shows only darkness beyond. Well, at least the toilets here work. Even mean more questions with every step I take. like some kind of lens. I wonder if this would fit on my flashlight. Wow, it's a perfect fit. that mean? I hope that doesn't have anything to do with what's happened here. I never want to see this again. There's something in there. That's so disgusting. Another diary page? But why here? Why do I have a feeling you're the grandma? This answers one of my many questions. She was looking out for you. Oh man, this is horrible. names doing on this wall. Why would anybody write that? Is this a trap? Or... wait. If it's not a trap, is someone trying to tell me I can save them? So I'm either walking into a trap, or I'm leaving my friends to suffer? If that's the case, which one is worse? I don't like how easy the answer is. I have to go back. If 
if there's any hope of saving them. We have to try. Second thought. I'm really in no condition to leave yet. I'm so tired. I need to find a place to lie down and think things through. down. But there's no way any resting is happening in this room. I guess this is the best place for now. I won't sleep long. Just need to... rest. Hello? Stupid thing! Why won't you work? Give me the pendant. Is it raining? Blood? I have to get out of here. Rocks go? What's going on? How is this even possible? How is any of this possible? Oh well. Got rid of this stupid thing. Maybe that'll put an end to all of this. I wonder how deep it goes. Oh god! 
That was horrible. I'm not even safe in my sleep. Nightmares when I'm awake. Nightmares when I'm asleep. I would have been better off not sleeping at all. I better just get on with this. It's time to rip the band-aid off. It's nice to meet you. Still here. Thank goodness. I don't know if this is the right choice. But I'm pretty sure it's my only choice. So, here we go. I didn't know any better. They'd say you're trying to tell me something. I'll miss you too. Thank you for being my friend here. Save my friends. The worst decision of my life. But if there's any hope of saving them, I have to try. Thing could make me come back here. But I need to know if I can still help my friends. Thank you. 
There's nothing for me here. This trash bin is empty. an ordinary looking table old food never eaten it's like even the wildlife knows to stay away the door is jammed all these pictures make me feel like I'm being I can hang something on it. But what?
Cozy dolls, what other secrets are you hiding? shows only darkness beyond. that has 
hasn't told the right time in ages. This floor is loose. Better be careful. Taking it. I'm not leaving anything to chance. This was your room. She made you stay in here. What happened to your grandmother? I have a theory I've already met her on the other side of the lake. But I hope I'm wrong. Sen? Is that you? I will never be apart again. <laughs> You'll see. We'll be together. <laughs> Forever. Nobody can touch us. Nobody. Hi, Sen. Are you okay? Saki! You came back. So we could be together. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't give up on our love. I didn't leave you, Sen. You summoned an evil ghost that chased me across the lake! <sighs> Same old Saki. Twisting the story. Blaming others. That's not fair, and you know it! Deep down, you must! I have to believe I can still get through to you, Sen! Ironic, considering you're the one who gave up on me. Right when I needed you most. I've never given up on you! I came back for you! I want to go home, together. I'm glad you feel that way, my darling. I have good news for you. We already are home. <sighs> about what you're doing, Sen. Please! Think about what you're doing, Saki. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You're tearing me apart. Sen, I'm not the one running around with monsters. <laughs> you take that back! You know nothing! You just stand there, hiding like a coward! Of course I'm over here. I'm afraid you're going to hurt me. I would never do that, Saki. How could you think that? I love you. We belong together. Please, come here. So I can show you. 
I'll show you what your heart looks like when it's still beating outside your body. I'll show you how much I love you. So you can be inside me forever. <laughs> I'll show you what real fear looks like when I come back for you. Next time, I won't be alone. Once there were two monks walking alongside a river, an elder monk and a younger monk. As they walked, they happened upon a woman who was having difficulty trying to cross. The elder monk stopped and offered to help the woman. She gladly accepted and the monk picked her up and carried her and all of her belongings across. When he had finished, he crossed the river once again and continued walking with the younger monk. After some time had passed, the younger monk spoke up. I have a question, he said. I thought it was forbidden for us to touch a woman. Yet I watched you carry that woman across the river. Without hesitating, the elder monk replied, I left that woman on the other side of the river a long while ago. Yet you are the one who is still carrying her. Huh? I don't get it. The younger monk never touched the woman. <laughs> Oh, my darling Ayumi, it's a metaphor. What's that? Well, a metaphor is when you say one thing, but it's describing something else. But why don't people just say the first thing they're trying to describe? <laughs> Sometimes, there aren't words for the thing you're trying to really say, so you have to tell a story. And hopefully, that will make things clearer for the people listening. Hmm, I think I get it. But, I have one more question. Only one? You must be getting tired. Anything, my dear. What's the metaphor? An excellent question, little one. It can apply to so many things, really. But at its heart, I believe it's about how people, or places, or things can take a part of us with them. If we always have a choice, we can look forward or we can look back. Like my dolly? I love her. Oh, is that bad? I thought you only had one more question. But no, of course not. She was a gift from your father. She should mean a lot to you. Mama, I have another question. My little philosopher. Last question, and then it's time for sleep, okay? We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. The next stop is at sunup. That's where we get off and start our new lives. We'll need our rest. So what's your question? Why did Daddy have to die? I... don't have an answer for that one, my darling. Do you need a metaphor? <sighs> No, my sweet girl. I just need you. Get some rest, okay? Tomorrow we'll be home. 
<laughs> our new home. Yes, our new home. And it will be perfect. Good night, sweet girl. Good night, Mama. <sighs> It's still nighttime. I thought the next stop was tomorrow. That's what Mama said. What an odd train station. All I see is a single bench and mountains. Hmm. Who would board here? Huh? Who would leave here? Oh no. What if this is our stop and we miss it? Mama! The train! It stopped! Hmm. It's still night. That stop looked really weird. And Mama said it would be daytime when we reach our destination. I bet it's okay. I'll let her sleep. Uh, but now I'm thirsty. I need some water. I think I remember where the dining car is. The car is so empty right now. I'll make this fast. What a weird place for a dresser. Who would ever put something in here? Open all night long, kid. I work the graveyard shift. That sounds scary. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it just means I work the shift where everyone has already gone to bed. You're my first customer all night. What do you need? May I have a glass of water, please? Do you have any money? I'm sorry? For the water. I can't just give you a glass of water. It costs money. My mother and I have very little. Mm, that's unfortunate. No money, no water. Those are the rules. Okay. So sorry to have bothered you. It all looks so good. before. Hello. I just boarded. So there was a stop. Oh no. I have to go tell my mother we missed our exit. I assure you, it wasn't your stop. What do you mean? She said there was no more stops until it was our time to get off the train. Please sit. I relish the opportunity to make a new friend. And I can tell you the story of Sabishi Miharashi Station. You talk funny. How old are you? How old are you? I'm eight. I am also eight. You may call me Kay. What's your name? I'm Ayumi. It's nice to meet you. How do you know that me and my mama didn't miss our stop? Because the station from which I boarded does not lead anywhere. There is no way to board unless you have come from another train. What? Why would someone make a stop that you can only get to by train? Some believe that life moves too fast, and that people get too caught up in their day to day, and they forget to stop, and breathe, and live in the moment. 
so Sabishi Miharashi Station was created to serve as a reminder for anyone who wanted to disembark and take a moment out of their busy day to stop and meditate or reflect on the fleeting nature of life. Uh, what's that mean? It means that everyone will die. But people like to try and forget that fact by filling their lives with noise. My papa just died. We sit side by side. Then... Dark. What? My mother and father are both dead. But I wonder... Who is gone? Them? Me? Maybe I should go. I think Mama will be getting worried if I'm gone too long. No. You should stay. I have so much more I want to talk about. Wait a minute. If you don't have any parents, how did you get to that weird train stop? This is my first trip. Many take journeys so long. Some will never end. Um, okay. But how did you get here? I took a train, silly. <laughs> I know that. But if you don't have any parents, who brought you to the train station? I don't want to talk about that. Do you like my dolly? I do. It's beautiful. It used to belong to a little girl I once knew. Do you have a favorite toy? Yes, my little Kokeshi. She goes everywhere with me. May I see it? Of course. I'd love to show her to you. My papa bought her for me. It's all I have left of him. That's perfect. Don't wake your mother. Uh, how did you know she was sleeping? You told me. Remember? Not really. But I guess I must have. Okay. I'll be right back. Kokeshi. Be right back, Mama. I love you. find some money? Oh, no. I was wondering if you saw where the little blonde girl went. I haven't seen any little blonde girl. The one I was talking to at the table over there? I already told you I haven't seen anyone, kid. The last person I saw was you. It's late. Nobody's up. Do you need something else? N no thank you. Have a nice night. Place. Uh, uh, this 
much as I hate the dark, actually seeing this place is making me pretty anxious again. This is so much more worse than I thought. Am I even still on the train? Am I even... alive? I need to find a way out of here. And fast! This candle looks old. I wonder if it would even still burn. I can go in the other way then. Deja vu? Those hanging figures look eerily familiar. I wonder, is that chain keeping something in? Or keeping something out? Do I really want to find out? I could mean a way out of this place. to mean this place is really making my skin crawl it's locked I think I'm going to throw up. Hmm. This skull isn't like the others. Gives me the creeps. Why would that be here? Another chain door. Who is doing this? Did these people die because they were trapped? Huh? Hello? Who's out there? I'm sure I could ask you the same thing. What's your name? What are you up to behind that closed door? I... I... Uh, can't remember my name. The last thing I remember was a loud bang. Like an explosion. You can't even remember your name? What do you mean, explosion? All I remember is that I was a passenger. On a train. Okay, but how did you end up chained behind this door? Who locked- I don't recall. Like I said, I was on the train. There was an explosion. Then I woke up here. Were you the only passenger? No. 
There were dozens and dozens of others that day. Sometimes I can hear screams. I think there may be other people trapped here. Like me. That's awful. I can help you. I can help them all. Just tell me how. Oh no. You can't help us. We're... We're dead. You're... What? And if you don't escape, you'll end up just like us. She'll be coming for you. Who? Ayumi? No stone should be left unturned. Just don't stay too long or you'll be stuck here like me. For eternity! Why? Why are the dead bodies? A medieval torture device. I can't believe a human would use this on another human. It's unsettling how I'm getting used to walking among these dead bodies now. about this room. There are three of them. There are three doors in this room. I don't think I've ever seen a room with three doors in this place. Seems unusual. I look at these, I won't ever get used to them. Hmm, another piece of paper. I hope I get some answers soon. I should take this doll too. No matter how many times I look at these. there earlier. I'm not losing my mind. I know I saw one. No way. How did this body get all the way over here? I think I'm 
going to throw up. It's locked. I wish I did, but my memory is fading. I do have this, though. Perhaps it will help. Oh, it's the missing note! How did you get this? I'm sorry. I... I really don't remember. Uh, okay. Thank you. behind here will only lead to more questions. Wh who's there? Just tell me what you want. Wait a minute. Can you do me a favor? Pardon? I need you to give the man in the viewing car a message. Would you do that for me? I'd give you some water and something to eat, too. <gasps> yes! Anything! Which man do you mean? Well, you'll know when you see him. He's always sitting at the end of the car. Don't read it. It's private. Of course! I wouldn't dare. to let her down. I think I have to go back. Maybe I heard her wrong.
you there? Oh, what's that? It looks like a note. Seven? That's crazy. I can't wait that long to return her letter. I have to go find her. But where could she have gone? It's way too late. Wow. Free water for the sleeper cars. Must be nice. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, it's you. I'm so sorry. I, I mean, that is... I was told to expect you. I just didn't think you'd show up so quickly. I have the message. Pardon me. Who told you I'd be coming? Your little blonde friend. What was it? Kay? Y yes I have the message right here. I'm surprised you didn't see your friend. Strange way of sending messages, if you ask me. But it sounded important. I hope everyone is okay. Uh, I think so. You saw her? That's what I just said. Pretty little blonde girl. Incredibly articulate for her age. That's her? <laughs> Did you see which way she went? I'm afraid not. Really, you just missed her. Here is the note. Maybe that will help. I really must get back to bed now. I hope you find what you need. What on earth does that mean? <sighs> this was supposed to be fun. Did you deliver my note? No. I'm so sorry. I couldn't find the man you were talking about. <sighs> That's not surprising, considering you came from the wrong train car. My friend is the other way. I... I was over there. I didn't see anyone. I came back this way, and you weren't here. That's when I saw your note. Note? It was right here on the counter. I think it was saying you went to see the doctor, so that's where I went. To the doctor's room. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like you need some sleep. Did you try calling a porter or anything? What? How do you do that? <laughs> what is this, your first time on a train, kid? Yes. I'm sorry. I can call the porter for you. Just tell me how. You just use the call box, and the code is... <sighs> Forget it. It'll take longer to explain. Just give me the note back. I'll do it myself when I get a minute. Oh, of course. Well, here you go. Thanks, kid. Have a good night. You too. Sorry.
the seal is broken. Hmm. A little peak won't hurt, I guess. I don't like this anymore. their briefcase here. I hope they get it back. what this is for. I've definitely gone far enough. Maybe I should go back the other way. These brush towels smell so good. Too late to bother any. I wonder what this is. Don't get distracted. I can't stay out too long. I won't touch these. People might be sleeping. What a weird place for a dresser. Who would ever put something in here? I'll make sure I'm quiet so I don't disturb her. What's in here? Another note? What's this one say?
Christ. I just hope someone's there to pick up. Hello. Oh, hello! It worked. That's great. My name is Ayumi. Uh, I'm staying in room one and I needed some help. Is that the sleeper car or the cabin car? Hmm. Cabin car, I think. I thought so. I don't know how you got this number, but your ticket doesn't cover Porter services. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm sorry. The chef told me to call you, so I thought it was okay. What did she say? I felt the train stop earlier, and it woke me up. And then I met this girl, but she disappeared. The chef didn't see her, even though she was right there. And then the girl disappeared. And then the chef disappeared. But then I saw her again, and I told her all of this too. And she told me to call you. I see. That makes sense. It does? More than you know. I'm sorry the stop woke you. That doesn't normally happen. What? You mean I didn't dream it? Most assuredly not. We stop at Sabihi Mihirashi Station in the dead of night when everyone is sleeping. Why? It's tradition. Nobody ever wakes up. Well, usually they don't wake up. But you're different, aren't you? I... I guess so. Anyway, I think someone boarded the train from that station. A girl my age. Her name is Kay. I talked to her, but she disappeared. I was starting to think I imagined it all. No. In fact, I know exactly who you were talking about. I saw her myself. Little blonde girl, right? Yes! That's her! Do you know where she's staying? She told me she boarded from that station you mentioned. But that can't be right, can it? Why not? I don't know. Like, how did she get there? Why don't you ask her yourself? I would, but I told you, I can't find her. I have it on very good authority that she's heading to the first utility room as we speak. Really? How do you know? She told me herself. Wait, where are you? Don't worry about any of that. You have to hurry if you want to see your friend. She won't be there long. I don't understand. We don't have time for any of that. Hey! He didn't even say goodbye. That's rude. Did you like my little game? Your what? What do you mean? I mean I did all of this for you. All of what? What are you talking about? The puzzle. Wasn't it fun? You did all of this? The letter? And the briefcase? And the chef? And the porter? And the doctor? Yes, people can be wonderful playthings. It's very easy to get them to do what you want. But... why? I like puzzles, Ayumi. 
I like them a lot. If you get someone running around, confused, focused on a meaningless task, it distracts them. And when people are distracted, they let their guard down. And when their guard is down, they're vulnerable. Um, I just wanted to show you my little Kokeshi. And I'd still love to see it. I'm on the edge of my seat. Hey! Give her back! You gotta catch me first. Here are a uh, uh, little. You should be. You're in a strange place, far away from home, with nobody that can save you if you need it. Do you think I need it? Make sure that nobody ever harms a hair on your head. <sighs> Thank you, Kay. I have a feeling we're going to be friends for a long time, Yumi. I'd like that. There are times when you feel your path is hopeless. Yet, it's endless. There are times when you feel you're trapped and useless. But your soul is restless. And now you have nowhere to be. Get even louder. My head is pounding. She? You mean Ayumi? Yeah, her. <coughs> what are you even doing back here, Saki? I thought you already escaped that nightmare train. I defeated Ayumi. Or so I thought, but no. She's poison sense mind, and now he's determined to kill me. Luckily, I managed to escape to the other side of the lake. Then, I stumbled on an old abandoned shack. That's where I found your hidden messages. What? My hidden messages? W what do you mean? I found a message with our friends' names on it, and another message written on it, Save Us. I thought it might 
be a trap, but it's not after all. You're here. No, 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 Saki. Listen to me. I didn't write those messages. I've been here this entire time. It's a trap, Saki. But what would be the point of that? Because she can't cross to the other side of the lake. So when you escaped, she used me as bait because she needed something to bring you back. Oh my god. I didn't even think. I just wanted to help my friends. It's still not too late, Saki. You can still save yourself and get out of here before it's too late. What about you, Kasuki? We're friends. I can't just leave. Still don't get it yet, do you, Saki? We're dead! We're all dead, and our souls are trapped here forever! She wants you next, Saki! You have to go now! No! Kasuki! There must be another way! <laughs> Listen, Saki. It's okay. We're already dead. I wish... I wish I hadn't been a coward. I was hiding even when my friends needed me the most. I was hiding even when my own girlfriend needed me. Be braver than I ever could be. And find a way out of this hell, Saki. Now, go! <coughs>
looks like a spot where I can hang something on it. to keep it in case I need it later on. Unfortunately, I'm still here, Saki. Sen insisted on having the pen and I'd given him for his birthday. That's not Sen who's asking. It's Ayumi. That wicked spirit wants to get her hands on the pendant. And or but if she needs the pendant to take control of me, how did she take over Sen? Saki, you're the one. She can control him as long as you're still on the train. Sen believed you belonged to him. And as long as you're still on the train, she can control him. This evil spirit needs to obtain your most valuable item, so you'll be under her control. The only way to defeat her is to locate the doll that once belonged to Ayumi, the little girl who was possessed by an evil spirit. If you find it, and destroy it, all this will be over, forever. Hey, but where is this doll? I wish I knew, Saki. I really do. Just save yourself and go. You don't need to do this. It's locked.
bodies have disappeared. It must have had something to do with those creepy portraits. It's locked, of course. in this room. Trapped here for eternity, with no escape in sight. Unless, of course, you hand me the pendant now. And then I will reunite you with your friends. Or you can say goodbye to them one last time, as I feed on their souls until there is nothing left. Is that what you want? <laughs> Don't you want to be together again, my love? Go to hell, you evil demon! I'm going to destroy you and save every last one of these lost souls! Ah! Kill her! And bring me the pendant at once! Do it now! have vanished. There's nothing left for me here. Finally have it. Once and for all, 
I'm not going to let her get away with this. Answer at least some of my many questions. Hmm, this well looks familiar. I've seen this in my nightmare before. One step closer towards your imminent death. Come to me, Saki. Let me taste your soul. It's now or never. This is the garden behind the shack I found. But how did I end up back here? I think the well is the connection. It must be the bridge between Ayumi's lair and the shack. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm coming for you, Ayumi. And I'm going to put an end to this once and for all. I 
guess this will open one of the doors at the shack. Oh, it's... the combination to open it. Talisman? Reset everything? Does that mean me go back in time before all of this happened? Whatever. Sounds like this thing can help me. I do hope it's not too late to save your little boy's soul. I'm going to use this necklace to destroy Ayumi and save everyone. It's locked. I need to find the key to open this door. I knew that the key would come in handy. to be my friend? I'll take that as a yes. Come on, my little friend. Let's get out of here. Wait, where's the boat? I guess it's still on the other side of the lake. I think she's scared of me now, and wants to keep me away from the train. You won't be able to stop me this time, Ayumi! I'm coming for you! I know you're watching me! Do you hear me out there? I'm coming to destroy you! I need to find a way to cross to the other side. Attention. This is our only chance. I know you're out there, and you can hear me. I have your little Bosatsu doll. She can't control you or anyone else anymore. It's over! Because I took the doll from her! Come and get it, and it will set you free! Oh, my God. 
everything to you because it reminded you of your parents. This is it now. You're free. You can rest now, little boy. You're free. Come on, Kitty. We've got some unfinished business to take care of. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I'm going to destroy you. Destroy me? <laughs> and destroy it before she gets me first. I hope the cat will be right. Oh my god. I... The cat. That heartless demon! <laughs>
see where it's going.
be open. So... door is jammed. All these pictures make me feel like I'm being watched. This can't be open. This can't be opened. I could break off some of the wood if I had the right tool. That's a big piece of wood. Pretty sturdy, too. That pregnant corpse is still here. I thought it was part of Ayumi's tricks. here for much longer. It's locked. I've got a strong feeling that there's something big hiding behind this door. Energy coming from right here in this room. This must be where she hides her doll. I must be getting closer.
under her control. That's not your fault. Sorry I couldn't save you in time. Ah, I caught it. This must be Ayumi's doll. Now all I need to do is burn it. It's the only way to destroy this doll. And talisman does what you said it would. It's time to end this once and for all. Saki, wake up. Saki, I... Are you alright? Uh, my head... Where am I? Sen, you're alive! I can't believe it! It actually worked! Saki... What are you talking about? What worked? What were you doing sleeping on the floor? Are you feeling okay? Here, let me feel your forehead. Maybe you've got a fever or something. I'm fine, Sen. I just... I just can't believe it. I'm just so happy to see you again, Sen. Babe, uh, you're, you're starting to worry me. I, I, I think you really might be sick. I'll tell the others that we can't go camping today. Leave in a few days when you're better. Yes! Do that! In fact, tell them the trip's off entirely! I don't want to go. I won't go! What's gotten into you? Ayumi. And I'm not giving her another chance. It's locked. That's a big piece of wood. Pretty sturdy, too. longer. Is that you? 
Where are you? I'm still in this room. It's so dark in here. energy coming from right here in this room. This must be where she hides her doll. It must be getting closer. Ah, I caught it. This must be Ayumi's doll. Now all I need to do is burn it. It's the only way to destroy this doll. hurt anyone anymore. This ends here. tricks won't work on me anymore! You're going to pay for everything you've done to all these poor passengers and their families! And my friends, too! Now go to hell and stay there! Sorry, Saki. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs> you, you saved us. Y you saved all of us. Thank you for destroying it, Yumi. Our souls are now free. But it's time for you to go home now, Saki. Go home? But you're coming with me. We can all go home together now, right? I'm sorry, Saki. This is our stop. This is where we all say goodbye. We'll meet again, though, Saki. Someday. I'm sure of it. After you've gone on to live a long and happy life. But not until then. And not a minute sooner. What? I don't understand. Sen, wait! Goodbye, Saki.
The dreams that haunt